Hello everybody. In today's video we would like to demonstrate how you can connect and pair your Apple Watches to the iPhone 14 series device. Alrighty, so here I have my new Apple Watches, Apple Watch SE Gen 2, I think. So provided that you have already powered the watches on, just launch the or open the watch app on your iPhone, which you can find at the utilities category of app library or, to, or at your home screen. Then once at the um, well, watch app on your smartphone, enter the my watch section, go for the start pairing and then set up for myself. If you are setting those uh, watches up for yourself, if for some family member, just go for the well second option that locates that is located below the setup for myself. But I'm setting up for myself. Uh, basically, just make sure that your uh, watches and iPhone are close enough. Uh, this way, the iPhone will automatically identify that there are some Apple Watches that are ready to be paired. And basically, I mean, importantly, on important note that uh, prior to connecting any Apple Watch to the iPhone, just make sure that you have unpaired them from other iPhone if there was any connection like so. But if you they are freshly taken out of the box, you have just bought them, this will not be the case. So next thing that you want to do is to align this viewfinder with the moving sphere on your Apple Watch. So let me do it myself. So just frame the Apple Watch into this little square and hold it. It might be hard, especially with my with the hands of mine, which are not very straight to be honest with you. So let me try to align it properly. Cut, Jesus Christ. What is wrong with it? Uh, Already, so a few moments of magic and it finally recognized the Apple Watches. While you do that, you might, well, face some issues like I did, but in the end it will, well, sooner or later, later it will interconnect so if you are having issues like I did you can also manually pair them which I'll show how to do right now as well so let me just quickly unpair the two devices already so we'll start pairing again start over set up for myself Wait until the iPhone will identify the Apple Watch nearby. True. <laughs> it is still searching for some reason, even though it has the Apple Watch right by it, basically. Mm, you know what, I'll just reload the app and see if that will help. I mean, those little inconveniences might occur, might happen, so it's not a big deal really. So I'll start over again. Set up for myself. Already, now it has. I, I mean, identified that there is some Apple Watch nearby ready to be paired instantly. So we'll just go for the pair Apple Watch manually option. Finally, tap on the eye icon just to make sure that the name corresponds. It does. Then we'll enter the six-digit 
code that we have on our Apple Watches. So it's 331139. Wait for the setup process to proceed. Already, as you can see, the iPhone states that our Apple Watch has been successfully paired. So let's set it up. Basically, choose on what wrist you will uh, carry it, left or right. Usually, the watches are um, being placed on the left hand, but you do you. So I'll set it to be the left wrist orientation. Then agree on the terms and conditions. Enter the Apple ID password, which I'll do off the screen real quick. Mm. Already. Wait until the, the phone will verify the Apple ID uh, credentials that we have just entered. Already, so the Apple, the Apple ID has been successfully verified. In here, you can uh, connect your Apple Watch to the Find My app. So you, once you like lose the watch, which I hope does not happen ever, but still, it's um, better to be safe than sorry, I guess. So you can either enable this function, this feature, or don't enable. But I'll turn it on. Uh, then you are able to create the passcode uh, or even the long version of the passcode if you would like to add some extra security or even don't add the passcode at all which I'll go for myself adjust the uh, text and size as well as make it bold or not Then tap on OK once again, set the, uh, well, date, uh, time, and measures unit preferences over here, and as well as personalized fitness and health. Oh, my bad. Of course, uh, I'll take everything that I've just said back. This page allows you to personalize your personal data. The data about yourself, like the date of your birth, the uh, gender, you have the sex, the height, the weight, uh, whether you are a wheelchair user or not. Next, uh, allow or restrict Apple Watch from tracking your workout, route, routine. Mm, I'll disable this function as for now. Uh, then this page allows you to decide whether you want to receive the notification about your health, like the um, unsafe noise around you, for example, the unsafe noise level, the cardio fitness notifications to low, low heart rate as well as high heart rate alerts. Then uh, choose whether you are taking any heart medications uh, learn what safety features the Apple watch provides you with uh, get accustomed with them if you would like to of course then choose what app you app view you prefer grid view or list view I think grid view looks way cooler and it's more functional since you can do not have to like scroll all the way down and 
try to find some particular app, you can just learn where it's placed in this grid and access it, access it right away. But you do you. Mm. Now just wait until your Apple Watch gets synchronized. Once the circle fully gets fully filled, this will mean that the process is finished. You can also monitor this process over here, not only on the Apple Watch itself. Uh, let's see what features it has. Basically, the setup process is almost done. Just as I've already mentioned, we gotta wait until everything will be synchronized. And after that, I suppose we will be finally start I mean, we will be finally able to start using the watch. So let's wait. Already, so you could just uh, you could have you <laughs> excuse me you could have just heard the vibration and the little sound alert which has notified us about the fact that the Apple watch of ours has been successfully set up has been successfully configured and we can start using it already so that will be it for this comprehensive detailed and very long video so I highly appreciate your attention. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.